Today we're going to debunk five myths about stress. I'm Angela Howard, and my passion is to break the stigma of mental health issues among fellow Christians. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and don't forget to click on that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of the new content. Everyone talks about stress, or at the very least, thinks about it. But as much as we're all dealing with it, we may be misunderstanding the truth about stress and how it impacts our physical and mental health. So myth number one, it's not really a big deal if you don't have major symptoms. This couldn't be further from the truth. The early symptoms are like a smoke detector that can really save your life. Stomach aches, acid reflux, headaches, or difficulty sleeping may start out as minor stress symptoms, but if they're left unchecked, they can lead to major symptoms like heart disease. Myth number two, stress is just a fact of life and there's nothing that I can do about it. This is a hopeless way of looking at it. You can decrease stress by saying no to extra commitments and living life with more margin. You can also decrease stress by planning and being clear about your priorities. This enables you to have clear guidelines that you put on your schedule and prevents you from missing out on the best by settling for the good. Myth number three, stress comes from situations in my life. This one actually kind of sounds true. But if you dig a little deeper, you'll see that it doesn't hold up. Each individual can respond differently to the same situation. For instance, oh no, there's a big storm coming and we might lose power. This can mean an adventure for one person and a catastrophe for another. It actually matters what we think about our circumstances. Proverbs 4.23 says, be careful what you think because your thoughts run your life. Myth number four, stress symptoms are obvious and pretty much the same for everyone. No two people handle stress in the exact same way. Sometimes people tell jokes in the middle of a stressful situation. You know who you are. Some people shut down, others react physically, while others respond with high levels of emotion. And at times, some people seem virtually unaffected, only to kind of break down at a later time. There's no one right way to handle stress. Myth number five, everyone will be helped by deep breathing techniques. Listen, if deep breathing hasn't worked well, don't beat yourself up. I would encourage you to connect with a counselor who specializes in treating stress. We're all unique and we need to realize that there are a lot of ways that we can reach the same goal. And remember, we're not on our own. God is with us through every stress and difficulty that we encounter. Proverbs 19.21 says, Many are the plans in a person's heart, but it's the Lord's purpose that prevails. So what myths would you add to the list? Comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And please subscribe to more videos. I'll be sharing some great tips and encouragement for whatever you're facing, whether you're struggling with a mental illness or have a loved one who